Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to briefly explain the differences between uh, Krita and GIMP, which are two image editing slash drawing programs. GIMP is called the GNU Image Manipulation Program, so it's closer to something like Photoshop um, in the sense that it's meant specifically for editing photos, though it does have a lot of other art tools and can be used for a more general purpose as well. Uh, whereas Krita is specifically a digital painting application. So it's aimed at people who are doing more along the lines of digital illustration. Now, um, if you actually boot up both programs, you're going to notice that in the tools section over on the left, you have a lot of very similar tools, notably uh, brush, pen, fill bucket tools, all these kinds of things exist in both programs. Um, so how do you actually really differentiate the two and figure out which one that you want to use for your purpose? Um, well, in general, looking through the tool section and the number of filters and all that other kind of stuff, I do think that there are more options in GIMP. So let's take a look at the filters in Krita. And clearly there's not as many. So in terms of editing photos, you're probably going to have more functionality inside of GIMP. But uh, when I tried Krita with this drawing tablet that I have, uh, there's two buttons on my digital pen. One is to move around by default, which is actually the same as GIMP. So we can click it and move around with the digital pen. But what Krita has is this really, really awesome uh, selection menu. So with the other button on the digital pen, you click it and it actually pops open um, this brush slash color selection menu which in the little bit I've played around with it has been incredibly useful um, in actually creating digital art. So uh, what we can do here is grab one of these different pens, and there's more than that, by the way. There's actually a heck of a lot of different brushes inside of Krita. Uh, in GIMP, you can also always install more brushes, um, but it doesn't really have this kind of selection out of the gate. So if you want to use like a pen tip, bam, right there. Um, also notice that the dynamics are on by default. You kind of have to set them up inside of GIMP to get anything to work properly. And just by using that one button, it's so easy to switch between colors and brushes. So actively right now, I'm only using my digital pen. I'm not even touching my keyboard. Uh, it even has tools for pixel art. I haven't really played around with that. You can kind of see though, if it has that, that pixely look if we zoom in a lot. Yeah, probably not good for most art, but if pixel art is something you're interested in, there are those tools there. And uh, of course, if you want to erase in Krita, you just hit E and whatever brush you're using turns into its own eraser. So you can really erase in any shape you want. Uh, in GIMP, it's a separate tool entirely. So we have the eraser here. You can still erase, you can still brush in GIMP. But I, I just think that it's a lot smoother and easier to get going inside of Krita. You don't have to worry about... <laughs> okay, that's a ridiculous brush. Um, but like setting up the brush dynamics over here. Because it's really set up pretty well out of the gate. And I haven't particularly liked the default dynamics that GIMP has. Uh, let's see. Speed, size, opacity. Yeah, not super great. So in terms of actually taking out a drawing pen though, and this is my main point for the video, it just seems to be way easier to actually get something going inside of Krita. And that's why I think if I do more digital art in the future, this is definitely going to be the application I choose to go with. Because being able to easily switch between brushes, all of which look very nice, give you the brush stroke simulation that you would want from like a paintbrush um, just seems to be a better tool for doing this kind of digital painting. Um, now GIMP's still great of course but the fact that you would need to play around with it, install brushes, like the, the brush, the base brushes in GIMP are actually pretty terrible. If you ask me, like a lot of these I, I can't imagine when you would ever really use them. Um, so yeah, to get the same results inside of GIMP, you're probably going to need to play around with it longer, install brushes. Um, I don't think there's anything like the uh, brush menu inside of Krita, and that's a big deal because that does make it really easy with a digital pen. 
So yeah, it's possible to do art in GIMP, but because CUDA is a specialized application for digital painting, it seems to me that that's the way you want to go if that's your cup of tea. Of course, both of these applications are free regardless of which app, uh, operating system you're on. So if you're on Windows, you can install both of them. If you're on Linux, like I am right now, you can install both of them. Uh, give them both a shot, but if you want to try doing digital art, I think Krita is going to be the one you want to go with. So with that said, I hope this has given you a decent comparison between the two applications. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.